Welcome to week nine. You have 31 more weeks to go. Your baby has graduated from an embryo and is now officially called a fetus, which literally means little one. Last week, they were the size of a raspberry. And this week, they're growing 2.9 inches or 2.3 centimeters, and they're about the size of a grape. Your baby also no longer has a tail. Their hands can flex at the wrist, their head has straightened out, eyelids cover their eyes, and their ears are beginning to take shape. Some new organs, including the spleen and the gallbladder, are forming. It may still be too early to feel anything, but it's not too early to hear something. Your baby's heart is developed and large enough that its beats can be heard with a Doppler. A Doppler is a handheld ultrasound device that amplifies the noises from your womb. So don't panic if your practitioner can't pick up the sound of your baby's heartbeat right away. Things like placental placement or your baby's position can make it more challenging to pick up a heartbeat. When you do hear your baby's heart beating, it's going to sound rapid because it beats about twice as fast as yours. You may feel like you have more energy, and maybe you're even a little bit friskier than you've been for the past two months. A surge in estrogen and progesterone are creating more blood flow to your breasts, vagina, labia, and clitoris, which makes them all more sensitive. Your breasts are continuing to get fuller, so this could be an ideal time to buy a maternity bra or to go up a cup size. Mood swings are probably familiar by now. Know that these are normal and they're temporary. Mood swings will wind down in the second trimester, which is coming up in just three weeks. Now that you've probably had your first appointment of around 14 total with your doctor or midwife, Remember, the other 260-some days that you're pregnant, it's just you and your baby. Your diet and lifestyle choices are the most significant influence on your baby's health. You should be taking a prenatal vitamin, and you should know that not all prenatal vitamins are equal. Quality does matter. Your doctor or midwife will document your weight at each appointment. Weight gain, though, is not linear throughout the whole nine months that you're pregnant. In the first trimester, you should only gain a few pounds. Next week is going to open the window for several prenatal tests. It's crucial to understand the difference between a screening test and a diagnostic test. A screening test doesn't diagnose a condition. It only signals that further testing is needed. You need a diagnostic test to diagnose anything. It can be devastating to get screening results back, showing that your baby is at a higher risk for anything. But please understand, you don't know anything for sure until a diagnostic test is done. Tip for dads and partners, as your significant other's pregnancy progresses, hormone changes can make their moods swing all over the place, especially in the first trimester. So if they have a short fuse or they're being extra emotional, that's completely normal. Try to understand that these emotions are out of their control and the result of increased hormones. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.